A lot of people are struggling with cell pip rating and this happens of course because the test is getting harder but it also happens because you don't know the best strategies and today we're going to discuss what you can do with that, how you can use the right strategies, paraphrasing, comprehension and looking at the vocabulary the right way to get the right answer. So in this video we're going to look at multiple parts. We're going to start with part one. I have selected some questions here which almost everybody is getting wrong. So we're going to look at that and see why that's happening and how you can avoid that. And now this part was about two friends talking. Okay, we're going to look at the question and I'm going to give you the chance to answer first. Then I'm going to share my answer and explain why people are making a lot of mistakes there. Hey, if you got the right answers or the wrong ones, do share your feedback in the comments so I can understand if you're struggling or if you need any advice. Okay, question number five is a tough one. Most people get this wrong. Okay, you can have a look, you can pause the video and I'll tell you where the answer is. The answer for this is in this paragraph. So of course in the exam you gotta look at the question first, go in the passage and skim through it to find the location where this could be set. Once you do that, you'll be here. So I just fast forwarded you and now you can pause the video, check it out, let me know the answer. Okay, now that you have answered, let's see. Did you answer this one? Because this is the most common answer. Or did you answer this one? This is the second most common answer. If you did, in both cases, you were incorrect. The answer is this one. Okay, so now let's get into the entire detail. The question said, Sarah encountered difficulties when? So who is Sarah? She's the person writing the letter. I'm going to see where the difficulties were encountered. So she was talking about the market has really taken a dive and uh, sales were not as expected. So that's, of course, a problem. And I'm trying to figure out the answer myself without looking at the options. And this is the best thing to do because the options will confuse you. I've, so market is not good. Okay, so she had enough when 10 other artists and I were invited to the to auction the paintings. Again, this is how I read. I'm going to not look at the little words. I'm going to look at the entire story, the concept and the main idea. Okay, I'm trying to find out why she encountered difficulties. So they were raising money and they were about to get 60% of each sale. At first I was happy, she sold the paintings, the buyers took the paintings, fundraiser wrote down the paintings I had sold or so I thought. Okay, so that means they, th this phrase is important. So this means, so I thought means, well, she thought they wrote down her paintings, but they didn't. Okay, after not getting my check, so this is another difficulty, she didn't get her check for two weeks, she called the committee. Turns out they lost the record, record book and they didn't have any verification of the sales. The lady on the phone said they, they couldn't pay me since they couldn't confirm how much I made. Okay, so now she's going to luckily and then that's the good part. So I'm not gonna read it and it's too much info right now for my brain to handle. So now I know what difficulty she's facing. I'm gonna go down and answer. Some paintings were taken without her knowledge. Uh, it's very close, it looks like that but it's not, it doesn't say anywhere that they took the paintings without her knowledge. Uh, she was selling the paintings, she auctioned them, buyers took my paintings, and these words will confuse you because it says they took the, the paintings and then she later says, so I thought, which means without her knowledge, but that's, so I thought is related to the next thing she said in the sentence. But this is where people get confused because of similar wordings and they get that answer. But most of you probably got this answer. She lost the record of her sales and the losing record of sales is mentioned, okay? It says, uh, I called the organizing committee. It turns out that they had lost their record book, but it's they who lost it, not her. She did not lose the record. So this is an incorrect answer. So the next one, this is the correct one. A list of art pieces that were sold went missing. For some reason, a lot of people don't look at this word list. They read it like this, uh, art pieces went missing. And you go up here and there, th there are those words that something got missing. They lost their record book, didn't have any verification. So you feel, okay, that is, that is correct. Uh, the list of art pieces that were sold went missing. But then you wanna make sure it's the list, not the art pieces. And in fact, when you go up here, you wanna verify everything. It turns out they had lost their record book. So that would contain the list of art pieces. So I'm verifying my answer to make sure. 
and that is the correct answer. It I can find it specifically there. And this one is nowhere mentioned, so there's, there's no confusion here, but people really get confused with these three options. So you can see if you ignore this word, if you ignore this word, and uh, here you focus on the concept, some paintings were taken without her, her knowledge, you will feel that this is the answer, but it's not that some paintings were taken. It was the record book that was missing. So it's very close answers, but what we gotta make sure is we read the every single word in the question, and go up and you can tell yourself that, all right, this is where it's mentioned word by word. Okay, let's look at another question, which is also a confusing one. This is the response letter. And here is the question as, this is the question right here. I'm gonna highlight this. So it's as something, you need a suitable space for being creative. Okay, as what? This is also where a lot of people make a mistake. You can pause the video, go again to that paragraph and answer. And the answer was an artist, as an artist. And the reason why this is the answer is because she said, uh, I finally had enough when 10 other artists and I were invited to auction our paintings, okay? So she hasn't said she was an artist, okay? She is part of them, so you have to assume that she's an artist. Now, I said earlier, you gotta go up, make sure you can find the exact place where it is said. I am always happy and more confident when I can see if she had said, I am an artist or I was an artist. But if it is not there, you have to look at the closest concept, at the closest conclusion you can drive. And that's the only one. Uh, there are other things here that she was talking about artistic styles and then she went for another job and those things might confuse you. And even the word artist, she hasn't mentioned that I was an artist, but the fact that she was with them and the fact that the other options won't work, she wasn't an art teacher, student or fundraiser, you cannot find that information, you would go with this one. Okay, so this is part one and we're gonna look at part two now. This one is also very confusing. This is about winter passes. Okay, snow pass, night pass, one night per week pass, and a table. So you look at this uh, letter that is that starts part two. There's two people talking here. I'm gonna highlight the first question right here, okay? And this starts with, hi, Jerry, I meant to talk to you before I left the office, whatever. Okay, you were saying that you want to get ski passes for yourself and Billy. Then here's the question, Billy something, so he will be at the youth rate this year. So if you have been following my channel, our strategy always is to look at the keywords. In this sentence, the keyword is youth rate. So I'm gonna go up and find anything about youth. Do I see something about youth rate? It's very hard to find, and then finally I see this. Now you're looking at the rates, right? So your focus is here, but that will never help you get the answer. Try getting it yourself. Pause the video and go up here. Try to see if you get the answer. Well, let me tell you, spoiler alert. The answer is Billy is over 13 years old now, so he will be at the youth rate this year. Why? Because youth is between 13 to 18. So it actually had to do nothing with the rate youth rate was just said to make you come here on this table and focus here and this is a detail that most students ignore but this is where the answer is coming from so don't ignore anything you cannot it could be a small hidden thing it could be a big thing but yeah it's right there if you look at the youth rate it's only for kids over 13 so that is the answer similarly uh when we went down here in part three this is matching paragraphs right now, uh, one tough question we had was, let's see, number six. The park has received important recognition from an international institution, okay? Look at paragraphs C and D, pause it, see if you can find it there. Look at paragraphs A and B, pause it, see if you can find it there. Now, if you haven't answered, I'll tell you the answer, it's A. Okay, so A, the answer is so hidden because of course, if you're looking at questions, we're looking at keywords like important international institution, recognition, or something similar. Even if it's not those words, I would assume it's gonna be like the park was uh, designated a big, uh, a big institution or, or a worldwide institution, well-known institution, but none of that was mentioned. In fact, the way they mentioned it was 
right here. Okay, Cloyne National Park and Reserve stands out, being declared a United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. So that's UNESCO is an international organization and it is being declared, which means it is being recognized or gaining recognition. Now here, it's not the keywords that you can find, no, not the same match at all, and it's not even the paraphrasing, it's the concept, okay? So if you are looking for just close words, paraphrasing it, you might not get it. And this is why the test is becoming so hard. However, if you remember the concept, think about it. If you read a question like this, and you need to do this with all the questions, you'll think, okay, it has received important recognition from an international institution. So we're thinking, okay, World United Nations, or it's something maybe the president of the US went and recognized it, or it could be something that went viral online and it was internationally recognized. So you see the angles that we're looking at uh, when we at look at the, the words in the question. And then if something like this is mentioned, it looks like a big deal. It looks like the world thing, the US thing, or the United Nations thing, it resonates. And you would say, okay, the concept matches. Let me read more clearly. And yes, it's in fact the answer six. So guys, that's where things are getting harder. Uh, don't rely on the keywords only. And uh, also make sure you look at everything when you're matching questions, like the multiple choice questions. You look at every word and eliminate the incorrect options. There are very good questions here later in part four. I'm gonna make another video for that. So please subscribe if you haven't already so we can discuss some more difficult reading questions in the upcoming videos. And by the way, we're offering right now a free assessment to anyone who is unsure about their reading, writing, listening, or speaking marks. If you're struggling, our tutors will evaluate you. They'll see your performance, see where you are underperforming and why that's happening. It is done over a 45 minute free trial session with a live tutor on Skype or Zoom or Google Meet. If you wanna book it, look at the email in the description, send me an email requesting your 45 minute free session with your time zone, your availability, we'll set it up in the next two days and you will get an entire feedback about your position, what you need to do and where you stand right now. Please like, share and subscribe. We'll talk soon. Take care.